Hello. In today's video, I have the fun of uh, hooking up an inverter. And uh, most of you, if you have done hooking up an inverter before, it's uh, kind of scary because the inverter on the DC side has a huge uh, capacitor. And each time when hooking it up, there will be a huge spark. And for the same reason, when I turn on the JKBMS, it will give me a short circuit protection fault. So it's uh, pretty annoying, uh, but the JKBMS has no problem to uh, overcome it later on. So this is the inverter. It's a three kilowatt inverter and the DC side have a huge uh, capacitor in it acting like the short circuit. So this is a physical inverter. So this is the negative and this is a positive 12 volt. Uh, it will act like a short circuit even though the inverter is off. It will still act like a short circuit. So what I tried to overcome the problem is I added a LED connection between the BMS input and output so they'll bypass the BMS initially so if you look at the circuit diagram this is the battery and the battery typically will flow this way into the uh, inverter and then come back to the BMS to the negative but before the BMS is turned on I like the battery electricity to go through this and come back to the dial. I'm sorry, come back to the LED to the negative. That way it will charge up the capacitor in the uh, inverter cell slowly. So my setup is I have a voltmeter uh, looking at the terminal voltage of the inverter. Right now it's about 4 millivolt. And this is the LED I'm using. It's a 12 volt LED, uh, 20 milliamps. 12 volt, 20 milliamps. So I'm going to turn on the power simulating hooking up the battery. So I'm turning on the 12 volt. Okay, now the LED lit up and the voltage climbing from millivolt to 1.7, 1.92 volt and keep climbing and eventually it will get to about 12 volts and LED is lit because there's electricity going through it into the capacitor itself so right now there's uh, almost 6 volt and it will keep climbing until the capacitor is fully charged and this way I don't have to do any pre-charging routine to deal with it I just hook it up uh, permanently and as soon as there's electricity from the battery it would always charge the capacitor full this way and the charging current is 20 milliamps or lower it uh, really helped to eliminate the problem of sparking and also the JKBMS uh, short circuit protection issue is all overcome by a simple LED uh, added between the input and output of the JKBMS and uh, the, polarity, the polarity is such that the negative of the uh, inverter go to the anode which is the positive of the, of the LED and then the uh, the cathode of the LED which is uh, negative go to the battery negative so right now uh, the voltage climbing to 10.7 volt and the LED is dimming 
and uh, as soon as the voltages go up to 12 volt the LED uh, will shut off itself so let me uh, shut down the charging voltage disconnecting the battery in a sense disconnecting the battery and you can see <coughs> the <coughs> I'm sorry you can see the uh, inverter uh, terminal voltage is dropping now eventually it would uh, bleed to zero volt so this is the simple trick to pre-charge the, uh, the uh, inverter it also give an indication by the LED. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.